guys, I just got back from the gym and I figured I would pick up the camera. It has been a minute. I'm so excited to be back vlogging. It's obviously my first video of the new year, but also it's like the first video in like almost a whole year. I think I had like three or four videos go up the entirety of 2023. Vlogmas of 2022. I think I burn myself out completely and I kind of fell off. I did like a couple of our travel vlogs from when we did our trip in Italy. I had so much I wanted to do and like say on YouTube, but I, honestly, I was just like trying to navigate my entirety of everything else I had going on and I just kind of pushed YouTube to the back burner. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna be making it a priority in 2024. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited because YouTube is one of my favorite platforms. I love watching videos and I love editing and making the videos. So I'm making it a priority in 2024. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so today's video is, it's currently four o'clock. Everyone and their mother is at the gym because all the New Year's resolutions have started and I mean, that's how it is for me. So um, I'm definitely making health and wellness a huge priority this year. Last year, when I say that I worked out, like actually worked out in a gym, I think a total of five times in a whole year. Like that's not okay. That's like not who I am and that's not what I want my lifestyle to be. So we are prioritizing working out this year. I just did a 12, 3, 30 and then I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster. I go back and forth with like different cardio things and then also like strength training and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm super excited. I just got a couple of packages in, so I'm just opening those right now. No idea what any of this stuff is, but after I finish opening these up, I did want to go show you guys my vision board for this year because I love seeing other people's vision boards and I feel like it will kind of help me, like hold me accountable a bit so you guys can see that. And also I'll show you how I made it. It's super easy. Um, if you haven't already made it, totally fine. Last year, I think I made mine like after my birthday, which my birthday is January 13th. So like, it doesn't matter when you make it. There's no rule that you have to make it on like before the first of the year, it's not gonna work. It really helps when you make your goals or if you have a vision for how you want to live your life. If the, I like to make mine into like subcategories. So basically I have a Notion account. I don't know if you can like even see it. Hard to see on here, but I have a Notion account and it's kind of like an elevated notes app. There's so many things that you can do in it. And I have so many different like folders and stuff on here. Like my main things that I wanted to focus on for 2024, which this is what I named my why for 2024. Like I had like my main goals that I wanted and this was like spiritual health related so, so many different things um so like my overarching ones were focus on my health and wellness a big goal of ours is we want to buy a new house I want to grow closer to Jesus so really dive into the Bible and just spend time talking to God every day um, consistency that's like a big thing that I say every single year that that will just always be something that I need to work on and personal brand. So kind of shifting into instead of just sharing like things that aren't intentional, share things that are more intentional and share me more. So I like after I list all the things that I think are like my overarching, like really, really big goals for me, like with personal growth and like so many other things, whatever, um, whatever yours might be. I list mine out as like my why for 2024. And then I list kind of like a deeper dive into each one. Oh, but I did want to show my, well, I guess you can't really see my leggings, but I have on just like plain black Amazon leggings, but Connor got me this adorable Lulu zip up for Christmas. And I'm obsessed. I like hardly own anything Lululemon. I love this jacket. It's so cute. I'll link it in the description if you're wanting something. If you are back on the workout grind, doing your New Year's resolutions, your goals for the year, and you're wanting to splurge on a little jacket or something, I'll leave it in the description. These shoes I'm obsessed with. I can't get enough of these. And my leggings are too short. <laughs> I thought I got the right length when I bought them on Amazon and they are just 
I, w I think I accidentally got the 25 instead of the 28 and so they rise up a ton so I just have to wear short socks with these or like the really long socks and I need to order a new pack off Amazon. Okay, I'm in the living room. I just turned on this cozy jazz. I think this was like winter jazz cafe outdoor. I don't know. I just clicked on something and I love the like picture. I'll show you guys my vision board. This is different than the one that I have on my phone. This, well, I have this like podcast that's like popping up, but this one's just more in detail. So basically I have the year, obviously. And then I just go into detail like about some of the things that I had talked about that I had kind of called out as like my bigger things that I wanted to do this year. Um, get a new house. So I have like a picture of like two people holding house keys, like a house right here, um, like a dream bathroom. You want to be intentional. I really want to stay true to myself when I'm sharing my content and things like that. So that way you guys know me and like it's not just like this superficial thing like you really know me. Growing in my spirituality, um, being organized and just like having a curated morning routine. I really want to go on a brand trip this year. So I, that's kind of like this and like friendships brand trip I have up here. So but basically what I do is I start off with curating a Pinterest board, which I usually keep um, locked, like so it's only my eyes. But this year I decided I wanted to put everything into a not locked folder so that way anybody that follows me on Pinterest um, can see like things that are on my 2024 vision board. Um, I have like a lot of locked boards. I have a specific mood board for each month that I like to do at the beginning of the month. 2023, I have like all of my other months and I'll sometimes I'll archive them. But basically I made a specific 2024 board and I'll add to this throughout the year um, just of things that I really would like to um, embody for the year. So this is where I kind of collect all of my pictures that I want to use on my vision board. Then I'll go on Canva. I have like a million projects. This is my desktop version. I have everything um, in my uploads and I'll drag everything over here. So easy to just move everything around and it's this is probably the easiest thing ever besides like printing stuff out and like actually physically gluing it, which I used to do every single year. Um, but then once I realized, you know, I want to have this as like my desktop screensaver and my uh, phone screensaver and stuff like that, I started doing it on here and I just love it even that much more and I think it's so much cuter and just like the way you can layer things and move things around super easily. It's a bit more of a deep dive on my vision board and goals for the year so I'm really excited to see what 2024 has in store. Just a little breakdown of how you can do it if you haven't made one yet. So yeah I'm kind of just sitting here in my sweat but uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and shower get into some cozies do my skincare, make some dinner here soon. Connor's gonna, he's been at the gym longer than I have, so he does like a full sauna session, which I hadn't been to this gym before, so I kind of just wanted to get a lay of the land, and then I wanna start getting into going to the sauna and stuff like that too, but um, yeah, let's go do our everything shower besides washing my hair. Okay, I'm out of the shower. I feel so good. Actually, I'm gonna keep this up. This is usually what I use. So basically it's an instant firming serum and it apparently, I saw this on, I saw this on TikTok that it has a higher density of like retinol or something like that. So it's really, really good for anti-aging and it's going to, it's just so good for your skin. I decided to not do this stuff that I usually would do in my routine because I actually used this this morning and my face is feeling a little bit drier than usual. So I don't wanna irritate it even more and I'm like starting to get a couple of breakouts. I think it's just about to be that time of the month. The road glazing milk, I 
love 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 the road skincare i never thought i was going to hop on this like i love the um the lip peptides are, I think is what it's called. Never planning on trying this skincare, like I was never gonna buy it. And they ended up sending me PR. That's, that's super nice. And like, I always like to try whatever I get in the mail. Sometimes I end up truly loving something that I've been sent through like a gifting and I'll buy it myself. Code Barrier Restore Cream. It's like a lotion. It's my skin feel like a million bucks it really has like restored the skin barrier for me because i've been using this for i want to say three weeks to a month that might be pushing it but i want to say like three weeks and my skin just feels so good i honestly okay besides these two breakouts that i've just now gotten i think it's from um the drinking on new year's uh the other day and just like sweets and stuff from the holidays. Um, my skin hasn't been this good in a long time. So if you ignore that, my skin is the, probably the best it's been in a few years. I have four different products that I'm gonna use for my hair care. Two of them are like serums, masks, and then one of them is just gonna help with the serums. And I absolutely love so much the Whey Scalp Serum. And then this is the, I wanna say it's Vega More grow hair serum I'm using both of them love them so much i really feel like this has been huge like a big game changer for my hair um follicle <laughs> growth and then also just for my scalp health i do love the applicator of this, this is the way scalp serum it feels like heaven i'm just gonna put it up all over this little wood comb that i got off amazon it's super cheap they have so many i have on my Amazon storefront, which will be um, in the description, which I'll just have all the hair stuff that I'm using on in the description below. I have this Vega More hair serum. Some nights I will do a derm a derma roller, do it around my hairline, but I did it pretty heavy last week, and I have a little bit of not scarring but just where i had done it it just needed a break this colleen rothschild this quench and shine restorative mask is amazing i was gonna take a really good amount honestly because just let it soak okay bun is up but this is where i derma derma roll and i've had a ton of baby hairs that have been coming in, but I try not to do it too often there because it's a really sensitive spot. Anyways, now that I've done that, I'm gonna head downstairs. I am so hungry. I'm gonna put on, um, I'm gonna put on a sweat set, and then I'm gonna start on dinner because I'm so hungry. Just made some delicious hot chocolate or salted caramel hot chocolate. It's their best one ever and pretty sure it's seasonal. My grandma got me some for Christmas. I wish that I hadn't already finished my life with the Walter boys because I would 100% watch that right now. I'm really re-watching Pretty Little Liars right now um, and I'm on the last season, so I'm about to finish that too. So I like need recommendations on shows. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Binge. I literally binged the entire My Life with the Walter boys on it was either Saturday and Monday or Sunday and Monday because when I was like hungover for New Year's, that was like what I watched all day. Got my hot chocolate and I'm gonna go sit in the living room and watch something. I got some cute stuff from Adenola. I wanted to see what the hype was about and I'm pretty sure they're based in Australia. So I really wanted to get a good amount of stuff so one, I could get free shipping two i feel like that will help me weed out like if if i ended up liking it i didn't want to have to place another purchase i'd rather just return it if i don't like anything okay cute i got some dark this is like a really dark chocolate legging <clears throat> and then this is the matching long sleeve shirt it's that really stretchy material what are these these are the midnight blue leggings i get all size mediums of that so it's like very close to black okay this when i got 
cute. Got like their tank bra. Really cute. Matching long sleeve. But okay, that's the haul. I'll probably wear a set tomorrow so you can see what it looks like. Oh, bye. Good morning, you guys. I just did my skincare. It's 7.30. Um, I had the worst sleep of my night of my life last night. Not the worst sleep of my life, but just not very good sleep. So I'm gonna need some under eye patches this morning. They're downstairs. We need to leave very soon because um, there's quite a bit of traffic this morning and I need to go like drive almost 40 minutes to get to the R&R &R House of Wellness, which I'm really excited for this morning, but I need to get a move on. So I'm gonna change into a little workout set and I don't even think I need to wear it there, but I'm just gonna put something on because it makes me feel more productive when I'm wearing a set. Got my set on. Have this cute aloe coat. So fluffy. And I'm filming something for TikTok, so I'm doing like a vlog, but um, this is the fit. I have my bag. I just need to put my stuff in it. My wallet. I always have my Listerine packs. I have my, my hand sanitizer. I got that one for Christmas. Lip balm, of course. Actually, I'm gonna keep that in this pocket. Okay, we are officially out the door. I'm already running a little bit late. I'm like two minutes behind right now just because the traffic this morning is really bad. Oh, it needs to defrost. Which I love it. It's probably so loud. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll turn this back on when I pull around. I'm so excited for this this morning. I feel like I really need this. And Connor was like, wait, I want to do that. <laughs> like he was like, I really want to try that. Um, so I'm excited. And obviously I'm taking you guys along with me. Um, so you'll get to see the place. It looks so cute. of wellness which is attached to ray skin studio which is like they do all different types of facials like they do all different types of stuff for like skincare and things like that but um they have like the back area which is the house of wellness and they have the infrared sauna so i did the infrared sauna i did the red light therapy and they had like these amazing like mint towels and i just felt like Oh, I was in heaven that whole time when you're in the infrared sauna It's like the same thing as like a cardio session, which I had no idea Like I knew that I knew like there were amazing benefits to infrared sauna But I did not know that and I was like, oh my god I when I got out completely drenched I mean, you could probably I don't know if you could tell in the video <laughs> That I have of it, but I yeah drenched anyways so amazing they actually gave me a code so anybody that wants to use the infrared sauna um therapy or i think it was also the magnesium detox wrap you can use code hunter 10 for 10 dollars off so if you're local or um if you're not local and you know someone that lives here and like you want to give them a gift card or something like that highly recommend um if you're local to indianapolis so this is a little bit more on the north side like in Westfield area so if you know you know and yeah so I'm just I'm so excited about that so I will definitely be back